guys, what's going on? Bonzi Chan here, back at you in our TCGO video. And today, in our Road to Seattle series, we are going to be talking about Decidueye Vileplume. Now, if you guys have never seen Decidueye Vileplume, I'm either I'm guessing either A, you're new to the game, or B, you've been living under a rock. Because this deck has been kind of running rampant for a while. It's more, probably one of the strongest decks in the format currently. But with some of the new Guardians Rising cards, um, oh, sorry guys, some other decks have been able to have been able to hold its own against it. But, um, some of the main issues of Decidueye pre-Guardians Rising was that, um, its consistency was not there. And there's some new tools that help with that, but the main problem with Decidueye still remains that it either starts, po either pops off or it doesn't do anything. Like, it'll either get r rolling right out of the gate or it'll just, just break itself. And then it's, it's a, it's a inherent problem of running two stage two evolution lines and um, not a whole lot of item cards not a whole lot of ways of recovering because of the fact we're playing item lock so to start off the deck we have a 4-3-3 line of decision YGX now some people play a 4-4-4 four, four, four. Um, I feel like four three I play a 4-3-3 three, three because of one um, bench base is at a premium and two um, more often than not, um, if you get the item locked down and get three Decidueyes up, that's usually more than enough to uh, start whittling down your opponent. But if you guys don't know what Decidueye is, it's a 240 HP uh, Stage 2 Pokemon GX. Its Feather Arrow ability lets you put two damage counters on any one of your opponent's Pokemon once per turn. Its first attack, Razor Leaf, does 90 damage for a single Grass Energy and a Double Curlus. And then Hollow Hunt GX lets you put three car three cards from your disc pile back into your hand. And that's the main. Oh my god, sorry guys, I'm so tired. That's the main. That's the star of the show. And then we have a 2 2 2 2 2 line of, of uh, Vileplume. Uh, this is the one age irritating pollen ability. Um, both players can't play item cards from, his, from their hands. Um, so this will, if you try, if you get the first two in Vileplume, because a lot of decks currently in the meta, you'll kind of just stop them dead in their tracks and then you just slowly, slowly poke them to death. Uh, two copies of Shaman EX for the draw support. And then two copies of Lugia. Now, some people will play a split between Lugia and Toro. Some people have actually cut the Lugia. Um, it's just, there's just so many different variations of Decidueye Vileplume that this is kind of just like the skeleton base list that I've been messing around with. Um, so some people will play Jolteon and Glaceon. Some people will play um, just straight up Toro. Some people have cut Lugias and Toros completely for more top Leles. Um, it's just all depends upon what you want, what you feel like is consistent for you, and what is more catered to your playstyle. Uh, but this is the Luca EX with the Aerial Ball attack. It does 20 damage times my energy attached to both Pokemon for double close. And then we have one copy of Tapu Lele with the Wonder Tag ability, and it's and that's it for the Pokemon. Play two copies of Acrobike just to cycle through our deck, and try to burn through as much as possible to get our Decidueye and Vileplumes out. One copy of Field Blower just before we get the item locked down, just to ki ki kick off some of those key item cards our opponent may play. Uh, three copies of Level Ball to search out our Dartrix, our Rowlet, our Rowlets, our Dartrixes, our Oddishes, and our Glooms. Two Revilers just in case we have to do a really bad Sycamore. Four copies of Trainers Mail for, to, to get Acrobikes, Level Balls, Supporters. Four copies of Ultra Ball, because uh, it's Ultra Ball. Four copies of Forest of Giant Plants. Now, this is what makes the deck go off. If you guys have never seen Forest of Giant Plants, it lets you uh, um, bypass that rule of not being able to evolve on the first turn or a Pokemon that's just been set, this, put, put, set down into play. Uh, two copies of Lysander. One copy of Mala. Now, this is a new addition. Um, you can do some cheeky things like you can Ultra Ball for a, to for a Tapu Lele. Use Tapu Lele, grab the Mala, and put the Mala, play the Mala to put the two cards that you really want on top of your deck. And then shaman for the and then shaman and draw into those two cards. Uh, two copies of end for draw support and consistency. Four copies of sycamore. Um, now I have seen some lists that have cut the sycamores down and, and put the copies van up just because it's not really a deck that wants to burn resources. But I've been finding four copies of sycamores enough just because we really want to dig hard. Uh, two copies of floatstone. Now this is kind of important because if you don't put a floatstone down on Vileplume onto the gloom before you evolve into Vileplume. If your opponent Lysander's out that Vileplume, it is stuck there. And you can't do anything about it because retreat cost of 3 is way too high to get out. Um, four copies of Double Colors Energy, four are Decidueyes, our Tapu Leles, and 
our Shamans and our Lugias, all of our Pokemon in our deck use, um, all of our attackers in our deck do use double colorless energy, so we play four copies of those. And then I play four copies of Rainbow Energy, just give me that, uh, that the most flexibility possible, because if we use Rainbow Energy, we still can use Decidueye's attacks, but it also lets us use Tapu Lele's Tapu Cure GX if we need it in a pinch. Um, this is kind of the thing that people were doing with Jolteon Glacy on the, in their list. And we play a low amount of energy anyway, so four copies of double colors energy is, is nice. And the only downside is this makes us really weak to Enhanced Hammer, but hopefully we have the Iron Lock down before Enhanced Hammer becomes an issue. So let's go ahead here. <sighs> Again, I'm sorry, games. <sighs> Ladder's almost done. Unfortunately, I'm not getting that full art Juniper. Uh, we were going into a fighting deck. Um, probably Lightning Rock. Or Pissimian. I'm seeing a lot of new stuff come up. The last couple days. Oh, uh, we are gonna go first, so we will be able to get the item locked down if we can hit it. Uh, we are unfortunately gonna give up Mulligans, so is our opponent. So we both give up Mulligans. Um, his, that does not really reveal anything to me what he's playing. Unfortunately, our opponent is gonna know what we are playing. Uh, we do get two basics though. Um. So the problem with the main uh, thing with the situation is there's a lot of micro decisions that you have to make in order to um, pilot the deck successfully. The, this, is, this is definitely one of those decks where you need to play it a lot to get what you need. Oh, we're gonna go ahead here and drop the forest. Um, we can Ultra Ball. We're gonna discard our Rainbow Energy and our Field Blower. And we are going to grab ourselves Tapu Lele. Um, it does not look like... So we have one Rallet prize, that is it. One Rallet. One Trainer's Mail. One Forest of Giant Plants, one Lysander, one Fissicamore. A Double Clouds, one Ray Bell, okay. <sighs> not the worst prizes! Um, luckily we have most of our Pokemon available to us. Just one Rallet is prized, so let's go ahead here and grab a Supporter. We are going to grab Malo here, and then we are going to want to grab ourselves a Gloom. Oh, what do we want, actually? We can get Decidueye out right now if we grab the Dark Tricks. The question is, do I want a Gloom, or do I want to grab... Actually, there's some uh, justification here grabbing a level ball instead of the dart tricks. Because well, we can search out every, anything we want here. We do not have a draw supporter, but it doesn't matter because we can't play one. Um, go ahead and here and actually grab the Vile Plume. We can get the item lock going right now. Um, if we get uh, the Float Stone, or that we actually, yeah, if we got the Float Stone, we got it. Uh, we do not hit the Float Stone, but we do hit the level ball. Um, we are going up against, what are we going against? Carp, uh, Lycanroc? Um, Lycanroc does tend to play a lot of items, so maybe we should just go ahead and, and Vileplume him now. Um, unfortunately, our hand is kind of atrocious with those two Decidueyes and a Sycamore. Hopefully our opponent has to play an end to get out of this item, to try to get out of this item lock. Um, yeah. Kind of sucks. Bad RNG. Our opponent does play the end, awesome. So we are gonna hopefully get out of this item lock right here. Um, hopefully it can hit a Dark Tricks. We do hit a Dark Tricks. <sighs> uh, he is going to tackle us. Let's go ahead here, evolve into Dark Tricks, Let's bench this Rowlet. Um, and then let's just stick more. These three items in our hand are dead, and we don't really need the Oddish. We do get this. Um, I want to put the Decidueye active just because I want a bigger shield. And let's go ahead here and do 20 damage to the active. Just start poking away at it. Our opponent plays another end, which is awesome for us because then we can save our Lysander. 
we only play two, and we play no VS Seekers because we don't want to uh, use VS Seeker really. Um, this hand's not very much better. Hmm. We need an energy. Some kind. Um, I think we just go ahead here and stick more. I don't really want to end. Losing one Lysander does suck though, and we are going to put ourselves down some cards, but we are going to hit the, that second Decidueye. And we're going to hit a double colorless right here. Let's just go ahead here and start a Feather Arrow out this Rock Ruff, get, getting rid of Tube's energy off this board. Hopefully hitting a Ray Bell. <sighs> oh, we hit the Lysander. But we can't really do anything else, so let's just go ahead and pass. Uh, now this card bank is not going to stop us because card bank only prevents damage from EXs and we are playing GXs, so the card bank is not going to be a factor here. Uh, it looks like he's just going to try to protect his rock rubs. He's going to end us again. He has played a lot of ends. He has not played a single Sycamore yet, so I imagine this is probably his, either his last end or his second to last end. Uh, he gets the Scorched Earth down, which really does not bother us at all. <coughs> we hit the Rainbow Energy. So we're going to go ahead here and attach to our our active Decidueye. Go ahead here and put some, spread some damage onto the Rock Ruffs to prevent the Lycan Ruffs from coming out. And then we're just going to go ahead here and Razor Leaf for a knockout. Uh, and grab another prize card. Um, now I really don't know why our opponent is, what our opponent what in our opponent's entire deck because we have locked him out of items. And he has not sick more, so I really don't know what we're watching out for. So we're kind of saying let just go for it. Um, we can take two prize cards this turn. Never mind, we cannot. Uh, he's going to try to go ahead and grab our viable mount. Um, but we can take another prize card here by just uh, feather arrowing away the active rock rough. Go ahead and get rid of that. Take another prize. Uh, pretty useless prize there. Um, <sighs> we've lost energy already. I don't want to atta attach to the vile plume just because um, chances of us hitting that that next rainbow energy are pretty low on our next draw. He does manage to get the lichen rock out. Um, we're just going to go ahead here and Feather Arrow away the Rock Ruff again. We hit the Double Colorless Energy. So he is, that Crunch is not going to be doing anything. We're just going to go ahead here and pass off to him. Um, until he kills his Vile Plume, he really can't do anything. I mean, well, I can just sit here and Feather Arrow all day. Now, since we did the Rainbow Energy in hand, let's go ahead and just drop one on the Vile Plume. And let's see if we can get him a reaction out of him. He just draw passes. Um, let's just go ahead here and spread some more damage. Um, I am waiting for a Lysander because then we can uh, take out this Lycan Rock and win. He's kind of stuck here with his Carbink. So I think we're just going to sit here and weaken his Rock Rock, his Lycan Rock. Now that we are well beyond one hit range with the. We were well beyond that. We could have done this earlier. Oh well. Our opponent really can't do anything on this item lock. He's, been, he's spent two turns now draw passing. Third turn draw pass. Um, I don't know what he's waiting for. I think he's waiting for us to uh, retreat this Vile Plume. Which we will do um, next turn because we can win right there. Uh, we just have to draw a Lysander or we have to draw a. Um, or knock out this card bank. So we are going to get the knockout on the card bank here. Now, based off our opponent's discard pile, I still don't really know what his list is. His list is, but we're gonna go ahead here, drop this double clutch energy that we've been holding for a long time, 
retreat into our Decidueye with the energy and get the Razor Leaf for knockout. And we get that game. Ooh, 25 points. Yay. Alright. Let's go ahead and get another game. And that was a pretty good one. We, d we d really don't know what our opponent's list was just because. Uh, we got him under that item lock so quick that he didn't really have a way of to recover. It looked like how to get out to get out of that. Um, one thing to know, guys, is that um, playing Hex Maniac right now as a one of in your deck is pretty good because this is how the popularity of Decidueye. I do suspect though the popularity is starting to go down because I have not been seeing it as much. I don't know if that's because the deck is starting to get less popular. Or if that is just because of Guardians Rising coming out, everyone wants to play the new shiny stuff. Really not sure, but uh, we do get the Rowlet start. And that is all we're going to bench. Um, we can hit a Molo. We can do some cheeky with Molo here. Um, we do need to force a Giant Plant, though, unfortunately. We play this. We're going to Shaman for one. So let's go ahead and hit your level ball. I would have liked to save this level ball for a Dartrix, but I don't think we can wait that long. Um, there is some justification here to use Ultra Ball. Let's see, we play down the top of Lele. We're going to draw two cards, which we can make. I think we just Ultra Ball here. We do and this card these two. What's prize? What's prize now? We have one Lugia prize. Um, one Rowlet is prized. Two Rowlets are prized. Um, looks like one Trainer's Mail. One DC. What's our other prize? Oh well, we have two Float Stones are prized. Both our Float Stones are prized. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, go ahead here and. Um, just grab another Shaman and just start drawing like a mofo. Uh, but we need to make sure we hit the forest all right, out, right out the gate. So let's go ahead here and top Lele. Grab ourselves the Molo. And then when we play the Molo, we are going to grab ourselves a forest of giant plants. And then. I'm guessing Dark Tricks. Because I want to um, try to get the Sidway up as fast as possible. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some Dark Tricks. Ooh. Oh, never we. Ooh, we are good. We are so good. Let's go ahead and here drop the DCE. And then let's shame her for five more. We do not hit the uh, Oddish, so let's go ahead and bench that. We are going to go ahead and use Feather Arrow onto their EB. Um, now, question is which which uh, evolution deck is this? Is this Umbreon? Is this Sylveon? Is this Espeon? I didn't look at the typing, so I really don't know. Ooh, shiny, shiny. Oh, looks like it. Oh, that so does not tell me anything. Um, waiting for him to attach an energy. He's gonna play an end though, which is okay. Our hand's not the greatest. Um, he looks like he's trying to probably trying to hit energy to evolve really quick. Uh, we do get the gloom. We do have an ultra ball. If he doesn't evolve, we don't really need to use the um. Feather arrows, we can save them. The level ball is nice because we can grab ourselves a Dartrix. So it is Espeon. Oh, this is probably Espeon Garb. Okay, we're not in danger of Garb territory at all. We, don't, we didn't play that much cards last turn, actually. We drew a lot, but we didn't really play anything. Um, 
Why does it take you so long to find an Espeon? It goes right up to the top of the- oh, he's still looking for prizes. That's right. It must be the- oh, what? Oh. Oh. Give him the orange face. He's gonna parallel us, so we can't do less damage. Um, but we do have the knockout on this Eevee. So first move is to attach there, evolve into our gloom, bump his stadium. Uh, we're gonna level ball here for a dart tricks, and just to verify, yes, we do have no float stone. Um, there is some, we could Ultra Ball for the Vile Plume to get the guaranteed Vile Plume, but I think just getting rid of, just getting more options is better if we're going to go ahead and do that. I don't want to be left with a dead hand. Um, we do not hit the Vile Plume, but we do have the Revitalizer. Let's go ahead and here, let's just Trainer's Mail real quick here. Grab ourselves the Lysander. Um, so we can start doing some more cheeky stuff. Um, I think I'm going to hold the other one though, I'm not going to play it. I don't really want to thin out my deck too much. Um, actually, screw that. Let's let's just go ahead and play it. Um, uh, I, I don't want that second war in my hand. It's just gonna it's just gonna be like play me, play me. Well, I don't want to play you. Go ahead here, evolve into our Decidueye. And let's put him under item lock. Uh, normally I would not do that because um, I want the float stone on there to stop Lysanders. But unfortunately, uh, both our float stones are priced. So we kind of have to not, we kind of... Fuck me. Click the wrong button! I guess we're grabbing these. That's, that's such a bad mis misclick. God, I clicked the wrong freaking attack. TCGO should have you. Are you sure you want to use your GX move dialog box? They should really add that. It's only with the Sidui that I do that. I accidentally clicked the wrong button. It's only with the Sidui that I do that. None of their GX that I've accidentally done that with. Um, let's hit him with the broken heart symbol. Uh, we could have took a prize card right there. That sucks. It really does. Um, our opponent gets the double colors. He had the Espeon in hand, though. Why? He must have did the kind of similar thing that we did and pushed the wrong. Oh wow. Oh, Espeon Umbreon. Okay. He's gonna go ahead here on top of Ailey. Probably gonna grab himself a Lysander and strand our Vileplume in the active. No, he grabs he go he goes for the N instead. Um using that hollow hunt really hurts us though. I did not want to do that. I wanted to take the knockout on that Eevee. Um he plays the end. I still don't really. I know that other than Espeon Umbreon, I really don't know what he's playing. Um, there's been a lot of weird lists popping up, so I really don't know what this is. Um, we get a Lysander, which is nice. Um, he unfortunately is going to confuse us, though. Um, but let's go ahead here and uh, Lysander out the top of Lele. And then let's go ahead here and spread some damage. Now, unfortunately, this our top decidui is liable to being knocked out because of um, Espeon GX's attack. Um, being able to spread 100 damage counters or they 10 damage counters wherever they want. So we kind of be careful of that. Um, he's got to waste his energy attachment on this top lately to retreat it, or he's going to play something like Olympia. It looks like he's just going to go ahead here and just knock us out, right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yep, that's a knockout. Um, that does really suck. 
Um, just considering that we do not have our next Decidueye ready yet because we have not drawn any special energy. Um, we can go ahead here and put out our own Tapu Lele. And then I'll uh, just trade back and forth with them. Um, I don't want to Sycamore even though I really want the energy. Um, let's see here. So if we don't Sycamore, we're going to take 40 damage. I have one DC in the discard. I think one was prized. So there's two left in the deck out of 23 cards. Um, we lose our Lysander though if I use Sycamore. Which in this matchup I do not does not look like it is gonna pay off. We have not seen a single shaman yet, so let's just go ahead and sick more. Um we do have one decidual left in the deck, so we could play down these uh Rowlets and these Dark Trixes. Uh, we could even use uh Volo next turn to um, get out a um make sure we top deck the Dark Tricks. Um, Espeon is going to be doing 90, 120, we do 120 damage right now to us and we will be swinging back for 100. Uh, we are going to lose this trade though. Um, kind of a crappy, crappy copy place again. Um, let's go ahead here and put down this, pop, put the feather arrow down here. Uh, we're going to be hitting for 100, uh, even if we put down the rainbow energy, it'll be 120, so let's just go ahead here and put this on Decidueye. Let's go ahead here and Malo and put Decidueye at the top so we do top deck next turn, followed by a colorless energy, double colorless energy, that way we can actually attack with our next Decidueye after we evolve our Dartrix. Um, we, we are probably going to have to give up the Vile Plume, though. Yeah, we are definitely going to give up the Vile Plume now. By giving the Vile Plume, we can revitalize your back in. Oh. He's just going to take the knockout on the top of Lele. And uh, is that enough to take out Dartrix? No, it's not. Or is he going to put the rest of the damage counters probably onto our... Yep, onto our Decidueye. Gotta hate how long this animation takes. I dropped something. It is. But yeah, this is Decidueye is definitely a deck that I expect to see quite a bit of in Seattle. I wouldn't say it'd be running rampant, but I imagine a lot of the um, day one meta may be a lot of Decidueye, um, followed up by a lot of Volcanion, because Volcanion is like. The, uh, obvious counter to this deck. Um, another good deck against this deck is actually Greninja. Just because the price trade is in your favor. Uh, let's go ahead here and Feather Arrow. One, one time there to get the knockout on when we bring out that Decidueye next turn. And then go ahead and drop the last Feather Arrow onto the Umbreon. Uh, you really, with this deck you do have to... Uh, be, a, be smart with where you put your feather arrows and um, and plan ahead. Um, Malo does help you do that because you can, you can know what the next two cards of your deck are. Um, of, of course, you know if your opponent does play an end though on you, uh, you will not know after that. But it's okay. Uh, we knew our opponent had played a lot of ends earlier. Uh, his hand's getting pretty full though because of the fact that we did play. Uh, we do we do have underneath item lock. He's gonna go ahead and Lysander. He's he's not gonna take. He's only gonna be doing 90, 90 damage. I guess he did not want to take off us out of item luck. Actually, if he has the double colors energy in hand for the Umbreon, he does win. Because we knock out the Espeon and then um Umbreon comes out and knocks out this Decidueye. Is there any way for us to play around that? 
not really. Even if we do, we even if we do retreat, if we retreat, what does he do? He's played one Lysander. We can't really stall him out either. This is a really tough decision. If we retreat, we lose our last double cut. We lose our last double cut's energy because one is prized. Yeah, we had to go for it and hope that he doesn't have it. Unfortunately. I, I see how he wins, but unfortunately I don't see a way for us to play around it, knowing that our one of our double clark's energy is prized. So let's go ahead and see. Well, none of those cards are helpful. If he has double clark's energy, he does he does win. Let's just give him the well played, because we're gonna know who wins after he ends his turn anyway. If he drops down double clark's, he wins. doesn't drop down the double Carlos we win because we would knock out the Umbreon with our feather o. oh he does not have it he's gonna sh he's gonna hex us oh okay so let's see what he goes off with these items oh okay still well played I just got to swing at you I don't know why he didn't play that hex earlier and then burn through some of his items um that was a really weird game I wonder, can we look at his list? There we go. Okay, so this is the one's Evolutions. Playing 2-2 two, two Umbreon SB Online, 1 Shaman, 1 Wrangler, 1 Taku. Wow, he's got a lot of one ups A lot of one ups God, is he playing like... Oh my god, this list is not fun to look at. Oh my god, it hurts. Um... What is this list? So it looks like he played a whole lot of items, really. He had to have some Ultra Balls in hand, though. He had to have the Ultra Balls. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can get one more good game in, real quick. Uh, looks like we're going to Psychic Colorless. This could be a, a Garboder, Espeon, uh, maybe a Mewtwo perhaps. Uh, straight type of Lele deck, but we are going to go first. Most of the time, you you, know, you want to go first with Decidueye, just to, just to try to get down that early item lock. Uh, we're going to go ahead here, though, and drop down our Lugia. Uh, Lugia is actually a pretty good opening start, because you can just swing with an immediate double Carlos. Drampa. Oh, boy. We're gonna go ahead here and level ball. And we have one. One Gloom, one Vile Plume prize. So Gloom, Vile Plume. Two to sit. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, sorry. We have. One of Vile. No, we, we have one Gloom prize. Two Decidueyes. Oh, boy. One level ball, one forest, and it looks like one end. Oh no, one double colorless. One double colorless is price. Okay. Um, go ahead and grab that rallet. We really need that rallet. Uh, Drampa is kind of a counter to us though, because we can't really damage the bench. And that single energy attachment there is really going to hurt us. I think we might lose this game just because of that. Um, but maybe not if we can get one of the item lock. Go ahead and your level ball. Grab ourselves an Oddish. Um, we did not really get anything good off of that. Um, we can go ahead here and Shaman though. Draw four more cards. Mm -hmm. Ultra ball. Go ahead here and grab ourselves a gloom. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that gloom. Go ahead and evolve right into that gloom. Um, let's tapu Lele here for a N, I guess. 
Um, I don't really want to discard a our Revitalizer or our Tapu Lele. Let's just go ahead here and end. Play the end. Try to see if we can get something going here. We get a Float Stone, which is awesome. We can actually play down both Float Stones. Ultra Ball away our Rowlet, because we know we can't play it. Well, we can, but we need to take some prizes first. And then get the item locked down on our opponent turn one. And then I want to shame it for more cards because I want to find a way to knock out this Drampa as soon as possible because it's going to be a problem. Uh, we do hit the DCE though. Uh, we do hit the Dark Tricks. And then we're just going to pass. Um, now our opponent can really screw with us by just having a basic energy in hand. If he can just attach energy, he will knock off our double Carlos energy because Grandpa does have that in first attack, discard first energy, attach your points, active Pokemon for 20 damage. Basically enhanced hammer with does damage, and that really does suck. This is going to be really hard knowing that we have two... Um, Vile Plume 2 Deciduize prized. Our opponent did play Sycamore though. Uh, didn't look like he really gave up anything. Um, we're gonna have to charge up something else though. We can't use our Lugia. Oh, uh, cause he's just gonna keep taking off energy. Um. just pass we're kind of gonna be in this weird draw pass draw pass kind of game because I can't really do anything with the Lugia because he's just gonna attach detach our special energy this is kind of the drawback to playing the rainbow energy kind of build because you only play special energy he plays two oh my god team aqua seek team magma's base oh boy if he hits a DCE in one Pokemon, it's game over. Uh, we don't really hit anything good off of ours. We're gonna go ahead here and he's just gonna try to draw as much as he can. Uh, we are gonna go ahead here and drop our forest of giant plants here. Try to get a big top of Lele going. We need to get a Sycamore. I mean, we need to try to get a good something good in here. Oh my god. I think we have lost this game. Uh, we both kind of just locked ourselves up. Uh, but he has just more options in general because of that Drampa. He has a single energy attack. And the fact that we only play special energy in our deck makes us really weak to Drampa. He's going to Lysander out our Vileplume probably. Nope, he's going to go for the top of Lele. And do a lot of damage. Well, no, not a lot of damage. Oh, he's gonna just try to burn us out on DCs though. Um, let's go ahead here and drop the Rainbow Energy onto Dartrix to try to get a Decidueye ready. Maybe we can Hollow Hunt and get back some of our energy back if we do ever hit that Decidueye. There's one Decidueye in this deck somewhere, and we can't get to it. Just go ahead here and energy drive for set for 80. Um, but this is going to be a really rough game for us to come back from. He's going to Kakui though. Knocking off our last energy off of our Tapu Lele. We actually, we, we kind of misplay. We could have just Sky Return looped him with the shamans and just kept that energy on moving on which kind of sucks now I just realized we could have just done that sky return loop um, that's something you, uh, that I've been learning by watching other uh, players who play a lot uh, people like Tablemon, people like uh, Chair and Chip just go ahead and bump his stadium here See if we can hit that double Carlos. We either hit him for another eight. That's not even enough. Oh, this is rough. 
This is really rough. This is rock rough. This, this is rock. Um, I'm going to be really interested if this guy's list when we're done, though. Hopefully we can view it. Unfortunately, we have to do this now. Uh, I can't remember if our DCE was prized or not. Uh, we can uh, Lysander out that other one. But unfortunately, this Taco Lele is going to go down. No, it's not. Oh, because he doesn't have the third energy. That is right. Huh. Just go ahead here and put a little bit more damage onto that other Drampa. Um, if our other double colors is prized, maybe we should have been attaching these rainbow energies the whole time. and life center out this one just to stop him from chipping away our top of Lele try to drive the game out a little bit longer although we're just gonna lose the deck out though yeah this is like this was a really bad matchup for us um we're just gonna have to feather arrow him again unfortunately we cannot heal top of Lele with our GX attack if we could, there would be some justification to using the Rainbow Energy there to heal up Tapu Lele, but that would be a little broken, and I don't really feel like healing off 40 HP. Um, here, well, let's just look at our last two cards. Okay, so, yeah. We'll just go ahead here and concede. We cannot win this game. You know what? Let's just see what our, our, our prizes would have been. Our two prizes were, two prizes we could, our two prizes that we will take. Uh, got the other Decidueye and an Ultra Ball. None of those cards would have helped. Shoot our opponent the well played and concede. We have no way out. Um, that's just the case. Of, that Drampa is kind of an issue for this deck too. Um, I always forget about the Drampa. Just oh, this was Drampa Garboder with Oricorio. Huh. How much does Righteous Edge do again? Does 150? Damn. Team Magma Secret Bases, Fairy Gardens, Hala, Delinquent. Oh, it's pretty solid. Pretty solid looking deck, actually. If what am I missing? The magma secret bases and the fairy gardens, of course. That's whatever, though. That's actually a pretty good uh, list. I'm gonna keep save that for later. Um, but that has been Decidueye Plume, guys. Um, it's definitely not a deck to sleep on. It's very strong still. It just has the problem of either breaking on itself or just popping off and going off on you. Um, it's definitely a deck to watch out for at your locals and in a, a regional level. It's a deck that I've played against a lot and, and played with a lot, played with a little bit. I'm gonna continue to play with it some more, but just because I want to know what the Decidueye player is thinking when I'm playing against it at regionals. But until next time, guys, this has been Bossy Chun. Let me know what you guys think of the deck down in the description below, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Team Rockets here. One. Ooh. Well played, boy.